stuck in equivalence of, hmm, stuck in a time equivalence of, of what? Of mud? Of tar. Stuck in the equivalence of tar, dying, decaying, 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 decaying. This yours? You weren't supposed to read that. Maybe you should try recycling. You're really good. English major? Maybe a poetry book on the side? No, sorry. Same. Doesn't matter. I should be studying anyway. Mm, well, you look peaceful when you write. Whatever you're studying doesn't make you very happy. I am happy. Very happy. I was just taking a break. Sorry I botched our greeting. I'm not always this, I don't know, rude. I'm Holly. Ivy. And it's okay. I mean, I get it. And what you wrote, though, was really good. I like poetry too, but I can't write to save my life. Thanks. But you're going to disregard the compliment. Sorry. Nice meeting you, Ivy. really none of my business. It really isn't. But I think you should write full time. That's not realistic. It's better than doing something you hate. I don't hate what I do. I'm learning to like it and eventually I'll love it. <laughs> That's not how it works. Love is like a punch in the gut, you know? Or like a violent storm, get it? No. I don't know. That was terrible. I told you I was bad. Hey, are you doing anything this weekend? No, not really. Why? Do you believe in psychics? Did you just say what I think you did? Psychics. Do you believe in them? No. <sighs> Text me when you're ready. Okay. Why? This is going to sound weird and you're welcome to not listen, but I feel something in you. Something that needs to come out. But I can tell you about your future. <laughs> what about my future? It's murky right now, but I can tell you if you're willing. I'll keep that in mind. Think about it, okay? Stuck in the time equivalence of tar, decaying slowly while reaching for weeping willow branches. Others wipe concrete from their wings before soaring away, yet I waste motivation on day jobs and rejected opportunities. My wings fossilize alongside my dreams.
time. Well, what does it mean? You're living in fear. You don't trust yourself, so you allow others to tell you who you should be. But they want you to be someone that you don't like. You're an artist. Potential to be a great writer. But you smother it with self-doubt. Your salvation is faith. You have to trust your heart over your head at times. Walk in the dark until you find the light which means facing failures and disappointment. After that, you'll find real happiness. But if you don't take a leap of faith, your life will be a never ending sea of nothingness. No, no, I don't believe it. It's a magic trick. True. I want to leave Kai. Find him. Take three. What does it say now? Stubbornness may be your downfall. You shouldn't worry so much. The view. Just right. It makes you happy. What do you do, by the way? I'm sorry I didn't ask before. Philosophy major, actually. And you're sure about that? <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't I be? It interests me and it makes me happy. But what do you do with it? How can you survive on that? <laughs> Surviving? Is that all you think about? Money, job security, all of that is nice, but if your whole life is spent doing meaningless trash to get it, that's pretty sad. Not eating is pretty sad. If I play my cards right, I'll be all right. I'll worry about myself and maneuver around the trouble. I can't do that. I need certainty. You're right to want that, but life is never certain. But you're psychic. Especially not for a psychic. So is it like a superhero thing? It's not like X-Men. What about That's a Raven? I wish it were that easy. <laughs> Tell me one of your poems. Absolutely not. Why not? What are you afraid of? Everything. Come on, just one, one little peeve. Why do you care? Because you're good. I'm not. There you go again, doubting yourself. What's the worst that can happen if you tell me one? I don't know. I'm proven right. Just one, and I promise I'll never ask you. Stuck in equivalents of tar, decaying slowly while reaching for a weeping willow branch. Others wipe concrete from their wings before sewing away, yet I waste motivation on day jobs and rejected opportunities. My wings fossilize alongside my dreams. What do you think about when you write? I see words in my head all the time. Like how I'm sitting with you now, and I see everything, and I feel everything. Words just come to me, and I make sense of it. Kind of like a puzzle. They become phrases, and then complete thoughts. That might not make sense. It's beautiful. It's something I can't turn off. Like me. I can't turn off my psychic abilities no matter how hard I try. Is that what happened when we met? I didn't mean to. I let my guard down. You tell a lot of people about it? A little bit now, since no one cares when you're out of high school. Was it rough? 
I knew better than to say anything and blend in with the walls. What was the worst thing you ever saw in someone? This guy I met briefly, with a group of his friends. I didn't pay him any mind, but he bumped into me. I nearly cried because I saw nothing. Completely blank. I, I looked at him and he seemed completely fine. I mean, he looked okay. But then I found out a few weeks later that he died. I probably could have saved him, but I didn't know what to do. I'm a coward. You're not a coward. jump off this cliff, not knowing how far the ground may be, or how hard I will fall. But for one moment, I will have the freedom of flight.